Admittedly, other games have done what Shadow of Mordor is trying to do, the same kind of adventure combat that you see in Assassin's Creed and the Batman games, but something about Shadow of Mordor, it just pulls it all together, gets rid of the bad stuff, adds a bunch of good stuff, and it just does it all better. Now, I've played through all the Batman Arkham games and, you know, Assassin's Creed here and there, and they all do a really good job of making the world feel very alive but in comparison to Shadow of Mordor those worlds just feel totally devoid of personality whereas when you're Talion going around Mordor meeting nemesis orcs and Uruk everything feels like it'll continue to exist and change without with or without you. So the thing I like most in Shadows of Mordor is just the, the pure moment-to-moment -moment combat and the way that that feels. Just the, the arc of your sword, the sounds it makes when you connect with enemies. I really, again, I'm a, I'm a man of simple details and I really like just the feel and the weight of the moment-to-moment the -moment combat in Shadows of Mordor. The Nemesis system, which is like this really intricate and really really cool uh, system where you know you build your own enemies it's kind of like your Batman you know creating your own enemies because you know they hate you and then they get more powerful and they kill you and then they g gain all this reputation because you're this really feared hero uh, or enemy actually to the, these orcs and you know just all that put together really makes one of the you know coolest adventures you really had this year. From the outside, it looked like a blatant ripoff of Batman, but it takes what the Arkham games did so well and transfers it to Tolkien's world. Like the big open spaces, the many different enemies, chained combat and great leveling, and also a ton of things to collect that you just collect one after the other after the other. Like it keeps you going for such a long time. They just throw you into the story. They don't really tell you anything right off the bat they just sort of as they teach you how to play and and as you're playing they sort of um, sort of sprinkle the elements in there um, for you to go ahead and find out or to go ahead and play through and that's sort of how you figure out you know where you're at what's going on who's this wraith guy what makes shadow of mordor so great is how true it is to its source material um, as a fan of lord of the rings of and the hobbit you know just Playing it, looking at the map, seeing the landscape, seeing the designs of the characters and the items that you can get along the way, you really feel like you're in Mordor and it's, uh, it's a bit odd and awesome. My nemesis was Mugluk the Crafty and he was kind of this, this real scrawny guy. He didn't look very threatening, uh, but he killed me one time and he just got powerful then I, I wanted to go and kill him and I screwed up like I, I missed a stealth jump or something killed the guy next to him then he just one shot at me and he, he killed me then a few times I actually was successful I just let the orcs kill him then he just came back with like scars on his face and then I killed him again then he came back and he had knives in his back and it just he just became this this real pain in my ass. I met this very eloquent orc whose who's last name was The Well Spoken, and he was the only one who didn't speak in a gruff British accent. He was just like, oh, well, I guess I'll have to kill you now. It was just this very funny insertion of class into the world of orcs you never saw elsewhere in the game. I do remember his face and he's got this really ugly mask on that has got a beak nose and he's just scary. And I am kind of glad he's got that mask on because I know if he takes it off, what's under there is probably 10 times worse. So leaving it to my imagination just makes it that much scarier. 
Norik the Assassin. So let me tell you about this guy. When I first encountered him, I was already fighting another Uruk. He rolls up with a hood on and his crossbow. He just nails me in the back of the head, right? So that was the first time he killed me. As the game progressed, he continued to shoot arrows at me from afar and get the killing blow on me so many times that he got explosive arrows. And the second you're hit by one of those, you're dead. Otha, who was super strong, super fast, so if I tried to fight him and then said, oh God, I can't handle this, and tried to run away, he would catch me and beat me to death every single time. So my favorite way of taking down orcs would have to be the Karagors, though they are a bit of a double-edged sword. I like being able to get up on there and you're riding around just swinging your sword, killing dudes, you know, wholesale. But at the same time, if you don't get on the Karagor early and he starts running around and going after you, I find they're extremely difficult to take down if you don't just get them right away with the bow. My favorite would probably have to be when you knock them down the ground. You stab them in the head with the sword, but you push the sword down so far that like it's going like three feet into the ground and then you pull it out. When you see one of them running, after he, after he sees you kill another orc, he starts to run. The best part is the chase. He's running, but you know you're faster. You know you're faster, you've been upgrading all your stuff. You caught him, you tackle him, and you just stab the crap out of him. That's the best one. My absolute favorite way was stealth from above. So I could sneak onto some platform right over their heads, drop down, stab them in the top of the head, and just run the frick away. And it was the best possible way to do it. It was so vindicating. I love Torvin's sarcastic comments when he first meets Talion talking about, oh boy, a captain, la-di-da. And then he just acts a lot like this grizzled old vet who just like, oh, that's not how you hunt a wee garg. When I first get to ride the Karagor, uh, yeah, because that's pretty awesome. I kind of want one for myself. There was one Uruk whose name I can't remember now who could have been my nemesis if not for this amazing moment. He killed me pretty easily the first time I ran into him, and in a rage I decided I was going to get revenge. I followed him to this beast hunting thing where he was going to kill a bunch of ghoul, which are basically just creepy zombie creatures, and he was doing pretty okay against them until I shot him in the back with an arrow and he fell on the ground. And right before I shot him again for the killing blow, I saw that the ghouls were surrounding him while he was down, and I said, I'm gonna let this happen. And they ate him alive. It was amazing. This was kind of a, a drawn out moment, but it was the sense of emptiness I had after I killed Norik the assassin. I felt like I just got rid of my other half and I was so sad. Then out of nowhere, this guy comes back, except he has a metal plate sticking out of his eye where I uh, cut him real good. And I've never been happier to see my hated enemy. It was, it was absolutely adorable. Okay, so this is kind of a, I don't know, this isn't like the biggest, most exciting moment in the whole game, but the one thing that I consistently liked over and over is whenever you have to interrogate or have the opportunity to interrogate one of the enemy orcs and you turn it to Calibrimbor and you just grab his face and your dude always says something badass like, you will suffer me now. And they're all wide eyed and freaking out. Uh, I don't know, that just made me feel like a badass. I really like that. I think my favorite moment was uh, going back to my nemesis, Crafty, again. Uh, I, I went to go assassinate him because he was uh, super strong in melee, so he'd one-shot me, and uh, he was kind of just a jerk that way. But uh, I could instantly assassinate him by using a stealth kill, and I jumped off the ledge to kill him and killed the guy right next to him. Then he knocked me down, walked away, got super powerful because he's just like, you're not worth it. And then uh, I shot an explosive barrel and I thought he died. And 20 minutes later, I see him come back with a bunch of stitches all over his face because he was burned in the face. Uh, and that was just the, the, the moment where I was like, this nemesis system is insane and it's awesome. Thanks very much for watching this video. And if you want to see more great videos, go to GamesRadar's YouTube page right over there or go to GamesRadar.com and check out all the badass content right there.